This is the December 2022 20, ACT Math Test Form F07, Problem 31. A farmer, a tree farmer has exactly three kinds of trees on his farm. We have apple, cherry, and evergreen. Of these trees, one half are apple, one third are cherry, and we have a total of 100, 120 evergreen. So this is the fraction, and this is how many. The farmer has how many trees on his farm? We have to figure out what the fraction is for evergreen. So we take one minus a half minus, let me put this in parentheses, one divided by three, which is one third, equals, gonna give us a fraction. So that's one sixth, all right, for a total of one to count for every tree. So it wants to know how many he has. So it's, again, a ratio. One six times X, which equals one six X equals 120, multiplying by six, that's 720. E is the solution. What is the median of a list of 10 numbers? If we have 10 numbers, it's going to be between the numbers five, the fifth number and the sixth number. So we have to start and figure out what's the fifth number and what's the sixth number, but they have to be in order. So 55 is the smallest, 67, that's one, two, three, four, okay, now we're getting there. So it's between 85 and 87, so it's 86 is the median. You add them, divide by two, but it's just the one right in the middle. So they had to be in order. I just mentally began to cross them out. All right. A board one and five-eighths by three and five-eighths is six and a half feet long. You want to cut in as many pieces from the board so that each piece is one and five eighths, this by three and five eighths, and six inches long. So this one you want in six inch long segments. But each saw cut waste is is one eighth. So it's really sixth and one eighth inches. How many? How many six inch long pieces will you be able to cut? Well, this is in feet, this is in inches. So we need to change 6.5 feet to inches. So that's feet, it's a unit multiplier. You just multiply it by 12. So I'm gonna take 6.5 times 12, and that's 78 inches, 78 inches. Now I'm gonna divide it I could make this an improper fraction. It's six and one eighth. One eighth is 0.125. So I'm gonna divide this by 6.125, 78. 78 divided by 6.125 gives us, you round down, 12 because I, I, I can get 0.73, but I can't get a whole six inch piece, all right? The probability that event A will occur is one eighth. The probability that event B will occur is one fourth. Given that they are mutually exclusive, what is the probability that event A or B will occur? When you hear the word or, you are adding. If you heard the word and in probability, you multiply. So we're adding one eighth and one fourth, which is two eighths. So plus two eighths gives us three eighths. J is the solution. 35, what is the measure in degrees of an angle in radians? To get from radians to degrees, you multiply by 180 degrees over pi, All right? So that 
our pi's cancel out. So we have seven times 180 divided by nine is 140 degrees. All right, angles D, angle D is on side CE of rectangle A, ABC, such that the measure of ADB, that's a right angle. Which of the following angles must be congruent to angle one? All right, angle one, because we, we have similar triangles. So there's got to be one in this triangle and one in this triangle, all right? So one looks like the longest leg. And I'm going to say this is the longest leg, so it's three and six. Three and six. All right, the area of a circle. Area is pi r squared is 64 pi. Our pi's eliminate if we divide it by pi, and the radius would be eight. What is their circumference? Circumference is two pi r, or 16 pi, eight. All right, in a standard coordinate plane, we have points A, B, C lie on the same line. What is B? Well, then their slopes have to be equivalent. So let's find the slope of A, B. It's the change in Y, three minus zero, over the change in X, two minus four, it's three over negative two. All right, so now let's go to B, C, all right? So it's the change in Y, B minus zero, over, 7 minus 4, which is B over 3. So B over 3 has to be the same as 3 over negative 2. All right? So you just cross multiply. It's 9 is negative 2B divided by negative 2. It has to be negative 9 halves. All right, 39. When A is not equal to zero, what is the following equivalent to? Common denominator. When you see this, it's a common denominator. So one over A plus two over three. I'm multiplying this by three over three because my common denominator is gonna be three A. All right, this one A over A. So that's three plus two A over three A. All right, common denominator. That was, sometimes they're a little more complex than that. All right, number 40. A jar contains two green and three white mints. If Renee randomly takes two mints out of the jar to eat, what is the probability that both of these mints are green? Well, that would be two out of five for the first pick, right? Now, she's used, she's taken one green mint. She wants both. Both means and, so we're multiplying. Now there are only four mints left and there's only one green one. So it's two out of 20, which is one tenth F is the solution. All right, the number of decimals produced by an audio source can be modeled by this equation. Okay, you've never seen this equation, but you don't have to because you have solutions. Where I is intensity in watts per square meter. What is the sound intensity in watts per square meter? For an audio source that produces 100 dec 
vegetables. All right, so you begin by dividing by 10 to eliminate that 10. And you have 10 is the log of i over 10 to the negative 12th. You could actually plug these in, but division is subtraction, all right, of, of those arguments. So we have 10 equals the log of i minus the log of 10 to the negative 12th. This you can put in your calculator. So the log of 10 raised to the negative 12th, oops, <laughs> it's just negative 12. That's negative 12. You add 12. Wait, it's minus negative 12, so that's plus. So I'm going to subtract. Subtract, and we have negative 2 equals the log of i. And so it has to be 10. That's the base. 10 to the negative 2 is i. The solution is a. You could have just plugged it in. All right, 42. The diagram below shows the location of Manuel's boat, which is on a lake. I'm a, it gives all of that. Which of the following expressions represents the straight line distance in meters from B to N? All right, so we're gonna use the sine. So the sine of 50 over question mark, the sine of 50 degrees over the question mark equals, I have to, I know this angle, it's 180 minus 110, so it's 70, equals the sine of 70 over 150. You just cross multiply, so we're multiplying 150 times the sine of 50 equals question mark times the sine of 70, so it's this divided by the sine of 70, 150 sine of It's a G. All right, they give you the law of signs to use. All right, 43. Packmore manufactures a rectangular box, A by B by C. A customer ordered a new box with double the volume. Which of the following expression Represents, well, the volume is A, B, C. If it has double the volume, it's two times that. The solution is E. For her math class, she's preparing a probability experience experiment using dry, so we have kidney beans, dry pinto beans, and an empty jar. First, she puts four kidney beans into the empty jar. How many pinto beans must be added to the jar. So we have four kidney beans, we're adding pinto beans to make the probability of drawing a kidney bean exactly one out of five. All right, so we have four kidney beans. The kidney beans over the total, which is four plus the pinto, has to equal one over five. All right. This is just a ratio. If one times four is four, then five times four is what this has to equal. This has to equal 20. So P has to be 16. Got it? One times four is four. These are equivalent ratios. Five times four has got to be what four plus P equals. You could have cross multiplied. That would have been 20 is four plus P, subtracting the four you get 20, all right? Number 45. A car rental agency has 20 cars. Of those cars, four are luxury sedans, 
all the other ones are mid-size sedans. So there's 16 mid-size sized sedans. Each luxury sedan rents. So your luxury sedan, your luxury sedan rents at 50% greater or 1.5 times the daily rate of your mid-size. If the luxury sedans rent for $45 a day, what is the average daily rental fee for all 20 cars? All right. So I take 45 and divide by 1.5 to get the mid-sized price. So $30 is the mid-size. $45 is the luxury sedan. So we take the 30 times 16, add it to, open parentheses, 45 times 4, close, and you get $660 for all of them. But what is the average daily rental fee? You divide that by 20 cars and you get $33. B is the solution.